Hello, welcome to new unboxing. Uh, today will be a new quadcopter. Uh, it's not a nano quadcopter, it's not a micro size quadcopter, it's between. So, between these two sizes. Uh, this is a new A-Chain uh, uh, Mini. Okay, they reference it as Mini, but it's a little bit tighter than the uh, Mini quadcopter. So, here is the design of the box. It's more or less the same than the uh, JJIC model, for example, the H12, HAC, it's more or less, maybe it's branded by themselves. Uh, no specific reference of the real uh, manufacturer uh, on bottom part. So, well, this version is assumed to offer an uh, amazing your rate, so it could be uh, the new uh, pirouette machines and offer uh, headless mode and the, well, one press automatic return. Uh, we will see that uh, this kind of features uh, due to the absence of uh, GPS or barometers is more or less a kind of joke or gadget. So, what you will find in this Tiny box, uh, I have to mention this is probably the cheapest quadcopter available in the market. Actually, you can find it uh, for less than 14 15 dollars, including shipping, so it's quite cheap. So, here is the quadcopter itself. Okay, so it's including uh, internal, well, built in with uh, prop guards. Okay, they are more or less efficient. Well, it's okay. Uh, it's a uh, two side canopy part. Uh, upper part and uh, lower parts, okay, uh, just make a small uh, quick presentation and we'll return in details later. So, uh, well, it's a unibody, more or less uh, frame, it's uh, quite uh, small, uh, if I can measure the uh, diagonal, you will see that it's something like, okay, something like seven, seven, 17, uh, um, Millimeters close to 80, okay. And uh, well, I will return this to this quadcopter. You will find in the box this uh, tiny remote, okay, uh, more or less the same chassis that all the tiny models of nano quadcopter. Uh, the difference you will need up to three uh, AAA batteries to feed the, the power, okay. And okay, and you will find uh, you have to turn on on pressing uh, on the left the switch button. You will don't have to, to harm the quadcopter, but here you will find the speed button here to tune the uh, left uh, and right um, uh, command and here the forward and backward and uh, two click for associated with each uh, command so if you press this one you engage the return to home and also in different way uh, the headless mode and this one is to uh, activate the flipping and you have to indicate in which direction you want to perform the flip. So what also you will find in the box, you will find, sorry, you can close correctly the cover, you will find the instruction manual, both in English and in um, Chinese. Well, um, it's a piece of joke. Well, I'm not an English native speaker, but well, I found definitively much worse than me. Uh, it's not really understandable by a common um, English uh, speaker. While well, you can find some diagrams at least, but if you can read, um, for example, uh, how to calibrate, uh, for example, you have two types of calibrations. This one is to calibrate gyroscopes, and this one is to, uh, well, to tune, to set the uh, head of the headless mode, so it's a nice feature, but if you can read the English sentence, it's a piece of, a piece of joke. I will explain later how to proceed these two calibrations. So finally, uh, what you will find, you will find a LiPo. This is a mm, very uh, tiny and light model. It's uh, announced to be 150 milliamps per hour, no discharge rate indicated. Indica uh, ending with a micro lossy connector, uh, it scales something like five grams six. And uh, if you need some measurement, uh, well, it's 16.34 uh, millimeters uh, large. Uh, long, it's um, sorry, something like 26 millimeters, and in uh, with it's uh, close to 8 millimeters. Okay, so it's very tiny, only 150 milliamps per hour. Uh, I found that, uh, for example, this model of uh, Nanotech, 
uh, can be inserted in this uh, quadcopter. Be aware with such model, the uh, the polarity are inverted, so you have to swap the wire and to remove the internal connector, pine connector, and to swap the connector. If not, you will cook your uh, model. So be aware with such nanotech alternative uh, model. And this one is a little bit uh, heavier, but it's of, uh, offering uh, up to uh, 300 milliamps per hour and uh, with a discharge rate of uh, 35, so it can be a nice option to increase your flying time. So finally, uh, well, I said already finally, but you will find a USB charging cable, classic, okay, with a USB connection, and only two uh, props, a spare, one clockwise and one counterclockwise, and a screwdriver to remove the screw to access to the battery doors. Okay, so I will return now to the, uh, well, to the uh, main quadcopter. I can scale it uh, well, well, in the bag you also receive this uh, foam uh, fit, okay, you have to, uh, we, there are some uh, uh, tape on it and you can uh, glue them on each fit, okay, it's not complicated. And without the batteries, this quadcopter scales something like 14.8 grams and if you had the batteries, it will be something like uh, 20.3 uh, grams, it's pretty light, so it's of course, uh, four six gram uh, uh, more heavier than the nano, but it's still very very uh, light with the um, with the batteries, so it's perfect. And it's including the prop guards. Well, concerning the prop guards, they are uh, more or less efficient. Be aware that after shock, the props, the extremity of the prop can touch uh, maybe this small uh, piece of. Uh, of uh, with ending with these balls at the end, so be aware you have to bind, bend uh, time to time the uh, prop guards to retrieve a compatible shape with your props. Um, uh, the battery uh, doors, a uh, battery bay is uh, just large enough to welcome these batteries. This is why uh, I said this Turningy is compatible. I try with some 200 milliamps power uh, micro D. Uh, compatible LiPo, but it was a little bit too large, so this G model is okay. Even if it's longer, it will be okay. Uh, so only eight screw to access to the uh, uh, electronics. So concerning the electronics, you can find the classic MPU 6050C as uh, six axis uh, stabilization chips. Uh, the uh, take uh, transmissions, uh, well, the receive reception more is, uh, is done by then XN 297, the new air chips. Um, uh, good news recently, uh, there are some emulation of this. Uh, 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 ships with an RF24 Alder 1, so it's uh, more or less compatible or can be compatible with Deviation TX. So, if you have this, this nice radio, you, you will be potentially be able to fly such quadcopter. I hope so soon. Uh, what to say, uh, you have a 2.4 GHz antenna, uh, correctly more or less tuned to the 31 mm for a good range. You have approximately 50 meters of range with such quadcopter, and if you want, you can uh, pointing vertically. You have to drill a small hole in the canopy to install vertically the uh, the antenna. You will extend the range in the horizontal plane. Uh, what to say? Well, I think it's now uh, um, uh, time to make a demonstrations. So, uh, well, this machine I will call it the pirouette machine. You will understand it uh, immediately. So it's more an acrobatic one. Um, uh, why? Because the yaw rate is just amazing. So even in beginner mode, you have only two modes, beginner and expert mode, the yaw is just amazing. So uh, this quadcopter is most dedicated to people who want to perform flips in rotations thanks to the headland mode and this amazing yaw rate. So you have to turn on the transmitter when the uh, quad is stopped to have solid LEDs is bound, so okay. So at least you have to calibrate the gyroscope by uh, pushing both sticks in lower right position, and we see that the quadcopter LEDs are flashing fast. Okay, it's calibrated, and also uh, you can set your uh, head, your orientation reference. So if I want for the headless mode the reference like this, I just need to push both sticks in lower left position. Okay, and you have the LEDs flashing now slowly. It means that the reference reference will be set in this direction in headless mode. Okay, so I will fly it now in beginner mode. So 
I will look the your rate in slow mode. This is a slow mode, so it's just amazing. So uh, the quadcopter is nice. Some time to time you can feel that here that the props are touching the prop guard, so you I need to bend it. So the your rate is, is just amazing. Sorry for the plant. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't feel there is a lot of vertical punch. So I guess the discharge LiPo battery is a little bit weak, so maybe 15C or 20C maximum. With a 25C or 30C, I think it will, I will have much more punch. Okay, I will, I will uh, land. Uh, I mentioned about the motors. Uh, they are 6mm by 15, so maybe uh, to carry 20, uh, uh, 20 grams is a little bit more. Um, uh, n uh, large enough, well, it should be okay, but I guess uh, with a better discharge rate, uh, LiPo with a better discharge rate will be much more better. Well, so you saw the amazing yaw rate in, in the slow mode. I will engage now the, the speed mode. You can hear two beeps, you will see that the yaw rate is even. Look that! Look, it's, it's just amazing. Look, the female, you can perform. It's just amazing. Wow. So, definitely you understand why you can play with the headless mode to perform such female. Um, I, will, I will land. So, of course, at full speed with such yaw rate, it's impossible to fly. So, it's not a, a quadcopter to be to be uh, flew outdoors, it's more for internal and to make some pirouettes like this. Okay, I will try the. Uh, I will return to the uh, beginner mode. You, the the flips. You will see that it's not bad at all. So you have to press the right stick. Oh, no, sorry. So flips are not bad. Okay, you can hear sometimes the props touching the the prop guard. So I have to bend there. Well, it's okay, you can fly. I hope to fly one day this one with a Devo controller to have more pressure flight, but it's a very precise one. Your rate, even in beginner mode, is already so good. So, about the headless mode and the return to home. So, I will push. So, when you press the left stick here, you can hear one long beep emitted. It means that the uh, return to home is engaged. So automatically, if the quadcopter was front, if I push throttle, the quadcopter will return to me. I will make a small demonstration. Okay, and since I set the uh, head in this position, I will engage. You will see up automatically by pushing the throttle, the quadcopter is returning to me. So how to engage the headless mode? You have to Press again the well the uh, return to home headless button and push the direction where you want to uh, to activate the headless mode. So well, in fact, you need to press for here and to indicate either back or front to engage the headless mode. Okay, and I push forward and now you can hear the headless mode. So now my reference is 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 front of me so I can just fly the quadcopter with me so let's 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 play in headless mode oops <laughs> it's a bit hard for me but I will try to make the pirouette So usually I only play with the right stick to fly with even in full pirouette mode. So okay, two seconds. <laughs> it's now in the branch. It's a little bit hard sometimes, but as you can see, from time to time, after a lot of rotation, the atlas uh, the reference is lost. So you need to cut it by repressing the left stick. Now I'm normal. So I lost the reference. So basically, okay. 
So basically, uh, well, versus time, if you done a lot of self-rotations, uh, the reference will be lost and uh, the headless mode or the pirouette will, won't work over time. So you need time to time to reset the orientation by landing your quadcopter and pushing both sticks in lower left to set again the reference, the head reference. Okay, so, well, it's a fun quadcopter, especially if you want to fly indoors with a lot of uh, uh, pirouettes, okay, I'm not an expert in flying, so uh, some user maybe can have better demonstration, but uh, it's nice features of this quadcopter. Well, the flying duration is time is around 5 minutes, which is not bad with the 150 mAh uh, LiPo. I guess with such one, I will make a small demo with this uh, uh, batteries, okay. You will see that it's possible to fly. Be aware to invert the connector. I'll say it again to be sure that you won't cook your 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 quadcopter, okay? So I will see how it's sending a such discharge rate with the 300 milliamps per hour uh, battery. So it will be more heavier to see, but the discharge rate is much. Of course, it's less agile, but... So it's working perfectly, it's stable. So, as you can see, you can probably uh, extend your uh, flying duration of one or two minutes well, in the other hand, your motors will suffer a lot because you will add two or three extra grams with this uh, 300 milliamps uh, hours LiPo. Okay, I will end this um, uh, small and quick testing uh, unboxing uh, videos. Uh, well, it's concerning was concerning the H8 Mini from Hachin, the new very cheap uh, nano micro size quadcopter. Uh, the cheapest available in the market and it's a pirouette machine so it's dedicated for to fly indoors and to make a lot of uh, turn on yourself with uh, self-rotation. So thank you for watching. If you like this video please subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.